Thank you, Jonathan. <clears throat> and thank you to all of you who have given us the best that we would like really to hear. I'm also like a timekeeper and a watch, you know, and a guardian of all these things. But permit me, because I was really inspired by rabbis revisiting the first UN resolution on abolition. Because I remember the foremost diplomat, Filipino diplomat, Romulo. He said that peace is not written in documents, in the words. It is carved, it's written in the hearts of men. And that's why we have to start with that. When I was the president of the 2010 Review Conference in 2010, I met with the civil societies of NGOs. The first word I said to them, you have not done enough yet. I would like to conclude by saying that hopefully, as I've said, we might end, we might see the end of the tunnel, that maybe not repeating what has been said of Jonathan about the law, about morality, about tyranny without a moral and traction of law. I just want to say that maybe it would be nice to hear and to see in the future that maybe every pulpit, every sermon, every synagogue, in every corner, we hear a resounding voice about this could be nothing but an instrument of sin, an instrument of evil, and so be it, and should be done with it for once and for all. Thank you.